What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Tomorrow Jeans, and I'm back. I'm here in today's video in the dark because it's October 8th. I was gonna say 18th, it's not, it's the 13th. I've ruined it, I've ruined the intro. <laughs> Let's retake that. <laughs> right. So, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Tomorrow Jeans here, and we are here on October 13th, Friday the 13th. Ladies and gentlemen, won't be like this for another seven years, and we are back. And today, I'm actually watching a Netflix original movie. On Netflix, so where else am I gonna watch it, Tom, you silly person? But I'm gonna watch that, I've got a Pepsi Max pint ready to go because, um, yeah, that's what I like. And I've also got some nibbles and stuff. And I'm watching this Netflix film, it's got Bella Thorne in it, it's got King Batch in it. I mentioned it a while ago in my last video, but I'm watching it and I'm gonna do a review afterwards when it's finished. So hopefully, you'll enjoy my review, and you might. If you've got Netflix, watch it yourself. And it's uh, it's just cool, because it's getting in the mood for October, and I'm, you know, I'm old enough to enjoy Halloween without being terrified of it. So, I'm getting in that October Halloween mood by watching this film, and I, it's a comedy uh, horror, but it, it looks pretty gory, it looks pretty funny, and it's got King Batch in it, who is one of my favourite Viners, and it's got Bella Thorne in it from Disney Channel, so yeah, who, who wouldn't want to watch that? It looks pretty interesting, it looks pretty cool, and uh, quite funny, quite my humour. And, uh, yeah, I'll do a review when I'm finished, so yeah, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy my review. I'll catch you in a minute, or in an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> right, so, ladies and gents, I just finished watching uh, The Babysitter, this new uh, horror comedy that came to Netflix. Oh my god, like, I thought Kingsman 2 was my favourite film. This is a close contender. They are both linked at the top spot. I might have to watch Kingsman 1 again. I'll definitely be watching The Babysitter again. Try and maybe encourage my girlfriend to watch it with me. Definitely going to watch it with my friend Ross on Halloween. It's it's comical throughout. It's intense. It's scary in moments. Very jump scared. It's very audio like jump scares. It's very good. The cast was spot on. There was the jock. I don't know who played him. I don't know his name. Um, the main uh, female antagonist throughout the entire film is a girl called... Her character's called B. Um, I don't know the actress's name, sadly, but it, she was fantastic in it. So scary. I mean, you know, that film, just, it's make, it makes me scared of girls. Like, seriously. Like, I know there's, there's guys in it as well, but the girls, the female characters in it are so good and so well-performed and brought back a lot of emotion, I was like, damn, it's scary, I was like, oh god, but um, it's graphical, it's violent, it's humorous, it's funny, it doesn't try and take itself too seriously throughout the entire film, but it does have the moments in it where it is just intense, and you're on your edge if you see it, and you're like, you're really shocked, and it really grips you, and it's such a fantastic film. Highly recommended it. I remember watching the trailer in school and just wanting October 13th to come around so I could watch it. Loved it. I absolutely loved it. If you've got Netflix, whether it's the UK version or the um, American version, please watch it. It's so good. It's so amazing. The young actor who plays uh, the main character, Cole, in it, he, pl he plays a fantastic part and he's great. Uh, there is a few scenes that are my favourites. There is the... I don't want to spoil it, but the, if you want to go and watch it, go and watch it. But there's a few scenes as a... There's a, uh, a a scene towards the end of the film where, um, well, pretty much all of the scenes where Cole takes out a babysitter. There's like the babysitter, she's the main one, and then she has these friends and they all come around and, and stuff happens and like it hits the roof. Cole has to like defend himself. He does that effectively. He takes out the babysitter and her crew of people and it's such... Uh, of creative ways of taking them out it's humorous it's comical it's intense and it's like a real jump of emotion it's like one mech like one second you're laughing one second you're like oh my god like terrified one second like you're on the edge of your seat and it's such a good roller coaster of emotions for a film highly recommend it loved it it's not too long so you don't feel like you're there for hours like ages like like oh my god why won't it just end it was a good length film it was a good comma horrority and i love it i love it i love it i love it it's definitely high up there there's a certain scene if you know who bella thorne is bella thorne was the redhead girl from stepping up on stepping up is it stepping up might be stepping up the disney channel program stepping up with um zendaya zendaya she plays uh mj in the new spider-man films um her and, and Bella Thorne played the two dancers on Stepping Up on the Disney Channel show. Well, she's a lot older now. She was in The Duff as well, and she's been in a film with Adam Sandler. And she was, uh, like, the cheerleader character girl you see in the trailer. She's very interesting. She's a very funny character. And she was um, with the girl who plays B, who's the main female character in the, in the film. 
and they exchange a little scene together, a little bit of a sensational scene. So if you like that, if you're interested in that, go watch that. All the lads are going to flock to watch this now. It is a good scene. It was very good. The way it was all shot and made, the directors are amazing. The writers are amazing. The actors and actresses are amazing. And I love the film. 10 out of 10. Couldn't have asked for more for a horror comedy. And it was my first ever horror comedy, so it means a lot to me that I watched it and I enjoyed it. And I know for a fact that if you go and watch this and you've got the right frame of mind, you'll love it too. So hopefully you do. Leave a like on this video. Go watch it. It's amazing. I won't do a spoiler review of it, but I'm definitely going to do a rewatch of it another night with some friend, uh, some friends. Probably more viewings of it and just find it better and better and better because I think it's a timeless Timeless, hilarious film that I will love and be able to watch again and laugh at at the same moments and stuff. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good film, 10 out of 10. Well done, Netflix. And uh, see you all in the next video. Slap the like button and hopefully enjoy the rest of uh, your October Halloween. It's not Halloween yet. Don't know why I said that. Bye!